Hello, friends and family. Welcome back to Nanaba's Kitchen. For those of you visiting for the first time, a very warm welcome to you all. I want to thank each and every one of you for the continued support. It's been overwhelming in such a positive way. We are now at 5,000 subscribers and counting. And I remember when we reached 100 subscribers and I thought, wow, 100 people have subscribed to my channel. Lining up 100 people watching this channel seemed to me to be a whole lot of people and now 5,000 and counting. Incredible. Thank you so much. I appreciate it from the very bottom of my heart. The dish I'm presenting today is an East African inspired coconut curry red snapper stew, which is going to be loaded with a depth of flavors from the coconut and the curry. It's going to be succulent and juicy. Just stay watching and you'll see. It's gonna be creamy too. Yes, friends, so take the opportunity now and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so and click on the bell right next to it so when I upload my next video, you will be one of the first to be notified. So here, we have already cleaned the fish and cut them into our preferred size and I've just added some turmeric and some salt. Now in this mixture, I have onion, which is a shallot onion, ginger garlic, um, and a seed, and also some lime juice and I've also added my uh, black pepper and I blended it together and incorporated it. So we're going to let the fish marinate for 45 minutes before we fry at room temperature. Now the oil is now heated and we know that because we added some onions to it to flavor the oil and also to test the oil to see and I've sprinkled some flour into the oil prior to immersing my fish so that my fish gets crispy on the outside and stays juicy on the inside and also doesn't stick to the bottom of my frying pot. A trick I learned from Sweet Ajele, you have to check her channel out. She is amazing and she's my girl. So anyway, so you fry the fish until it is nice and crispy. It takes about 10 minutes for that to happen and then you fry the next batch. Now. You could also bake the fish. All you have to do is just go do the same thing. Instead of frying, just add a little bit of oil to it. Make sure each fish is coated with oil. Now, I recommend though that if you're going to bake it, you use a fish that's a lot firmer. Not as delicate as um, fresh uh, snapper is. Snapper is delicious, but it's also very delicate, falls apart easily. So if you're going to bake it, you just want to make sure that when you do end up um, immersing it or including it into your, uh, your stew, that you are very gentle and careful so that way it stays together. So there you go, nice and crispy and ready. So you set it aside and we begin cooking the actual stew. Now to do that, I'm going to grind some ginger, garlic, two cloves of that, one habanero and some serrano chilies. I've added some salt to create that coarse surface because I am going to grind it obviously. You may use your blender, that's totally fine. I was just really feeling nostalgic today and I just was thinking about home a lot you know I, I miss cooking the way I cooked back home or watch my mom cook so there you go that's why I have the asanka and the tapoli so grind until it's um, smooth enough and we begin cooking the stew and here is some extra virgin coconut oil for that coconut um, flavor. We want to be really coconut flavor forward with this stew. After all, it is called coconut curry, right? So I've added some onions and now you see that I've thinly sliced them and they're all the same size. Very important for them to cook evenly and I've included my grinded ingredients and a heaping tablespoonful of tomato paste. Now here is some um, turmeric curry powder dry rosemary and this is actually uh garam masala which has coriander seeds cloves and a few other ingredients that just really elevates all of the flavors and that is actually black pepper now black pepper and um turmeric with the addition of the lime juice or any natural um acidic juice will help to activate the uh, anti-inflammatory properties in turmeric. 
just recently found that out so there you go and uh -huh. turmeric is great in curing sasa bro which is uh, what uh, uh, arthritis any kind of pain or any inflammatory process so um, get you know you want to stir it properly and then put the lid on and we cook this on low heat not medium not high but low and we covered it after we stirred it and we left it for 25 minutes on low heat and there is the result you get deep caramelized flavors guys you don't need a whole lot of oil and you most definitely don't need high heat to get caramelization now here is our coconut milk for the coconut milk I purchased the dry flakes okay the unsweetened kind there is the sweetened so be careful okay and pick only the sweetened kind I mean the unsweetened kind now what I did was I used three cups full of the three heaping cups actually and I added 400 milliliters of water to it and I blended it till I could get it as smooth as possible and pass it through my uh, strainer and there we go we have coconut milk you could also get the canned kind that will be totally fine and now we we'll crank the heat up to medium heat and we let it simmer down gently after we add our um, fish and we just let it simmer down until the fish is able to absorb all those beautiful juices it's perfectly creamy it has a, a hint of sweetness with that balance of savoriness this is a beautiful dish you have to try the recipe to know dish this over some coconut rice if you want to carry on with that coconut theme Ah, it was delicious. Ankasa. Okay, try the recipe. Thank you all so much for watching. And as always, have fun or make it a great day and have fun, especially in that kitchen.